Nathan Poppy here with The Oklahoman, and I'm joined by two of our friends from downtown OKC Inc., Riley and Danielle. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Now, we've got a lot of stuff coming up this, this next uh, week or so, um, and we're going to start with what I think would be my favorite, the Carne Diem. Carne mm. Diem, yes. That is tomorrow. Um, it's from 11.30 to 1.30, and it's... Um, VI's uh, fundraising event for United Way. That's so, that marketing and branding agency, right? Yes, okay. yeah. Um, so they shut down Park Avenue and they have a basically a chili cook-off. So um, for $10, you can get three bowls of chili. And this year, I think they have over 50 um, entries. And then you get to vote on it. I am a judge for that event. Ooh. In LA. Um, I'm looking forward to it. That's yeah. awesome. I think I'm going to try all 50. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that's the you goal You might need to bring some medicine with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't be near me on that day. But no, that sounds fun. I hear they like have a band on the roof. Yeah, the tap band. And um, there's going to be lots of pro chefs and amateurs entries. So you can get some pretty fancy chili or some just really good home cooked chili. I, yeah. I'm excited to try it. I'm a, a fan of, of Wendy's chili, so this should be just <laughs> blow it out of the water. Should, yeah, blow your mind tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Wendy's chili. Wendy's chili good. They're, I kind of secretly hope they're a part of it. Yeah. But no, I mean, yeah, they're going to bring in some great chefs. It yeah. looks like a good time. Mm -hmm. We're excited. Awesome, awesome. Right man. out our doorstep. Oh, even better. Yeah, yeah well. not too far away at all. Um, not too far away as well, we've got the Midtown Walkabout. Wow. Now, I know they've had some events near Midtown, like your H&A, &A, mm -hmm. kind of shut down the street style events. What can you tell me about, about this event and what it's going to offer? Well, it's a district-wide open house. Mm -hmm. um, we're not shutting down the streets, um, so you can still drive through. Uh, but there will be lots of specials and promos going on. So the restaurants will have drink deals or special um, coupons. Um, the There'll be a stage set up inside Brown's Bakery's parking lot, so it's kind of be like the, the central hub of the event. And Bar 3 is going to have a community uh, workout at 4.15, and then uh, Ben Freeman will be performing as well as Spaghetti Eddie. And all the shops are going to be have their doors open, stay, up late, stay open late, and it's going to be awesome. Kids friendly, walking from one store to the other, just kind of exploring Midtown. That's great. And that's all on Saturday, right? Yeah, it's on Saturday from 4 until 7 p.m. That's great. And I've, I've noticed like there's a couple new businesses yeah, the, open there as well. The laboratory and the shoe store, have you seen that yet? I think they opened up last Saturday. Um, really awesome sneakers. If you're a shoe geek, like for sure, check that out. Mm -hmm. um, and then Commonplace Bookstores is the newest one that's getting ready to come online. And they're going to be handing out coupons in exchange for people to fill out a survey mm -hmm. to let them know what kind of books they want. Uh, you want them to carry, so it should be good. That sounds cool. And I yeah. know Hank's Coffee Shop just opened yeah. down there, too. Yeah, and they have so. a patio, so it, it looks like it's going to be perfect weather for the walkabout, too. So patio life will be in full force. Mm -hmm. I know it's been pretty cool because at the last walkabout, Fit Circle and Mode had, had just, just opened. opened. And then even since then, there's like three, four. Yeah, New Avenue Boutique has just mm -hmm. opened there on Walker, so there's going to be yep. lots of new shops. So if you came last, um, spring to the, the spring walkabout there's even more stuff yeah. to check out so it's going to be really exciting yeah. and at the end of the grown. day donuts at brown's bake donuts yeah. at brown's you can't <laughs> beat them you cannot beat that <laughs> we have like three dozen in our office right now <laughs> yeah we had a meeting yesterday and uh they they were so sweet to bring us three dozen of brown's yeah. bakery i had Too many. five yesterday <laughs> midtown's got all the treats <laughs> speaking of treats oh that's that was a good oh, oh that, that was, was a, a nice shift. segue i like it mm, i know <laughs> Brick or Treat's coming up yes. as well. What can you tell me about that event? So Brick or Treat, this is the third time we're having it. Um, it's a candy hunt, trick or treating um, event in Bricktown and it's where all the businesses will be participating and handing out candy and doing their own kind of activities and promotions. Um, and then also on the Mickey Mantle Plaza, and we will be programming that area. So the SNL photo booth will be out there. It's always fun. Oh, so fun. Um, and pumpkin painting for kids and then we'll be handing out like event maps so people can know where to go and stuff like that so and something else that they're doing this year is um, at 7 30 after the trick-or-treating the oklahoma city dodgers is opening their doors and we're going to be watching hotel transylvania 
Ooh, so on the ballpark. In yes. The, in the ballpark, yeah. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. That's awesome. And there's a charitable component, <clears throat> excuse me, to this event. Um, public strategies, they will be collecting um, baby blankets and baby diapers and stuff like that um, that they'll be donating. So. Excellent. That's all on October 25th, right? October yeah. 25th from 4 to 7. So next Tuesday. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, any other Halloween events? I know we got Pumpkinville's about mm -hmm. about done, yep. right? So Pumpkinville, the last day will be October 23rd, mm -hmm. but they're having a Halloween party on October 22nd from 6 to 8. So if you're going to be doing that, you need to go to the Midtown Walkabout first, and then to the, um, <laughs> the Halloween, bash. yeah, to the Halloween party. There you go. Um, so yeah, but Pumpkinville does close on October 23rd. So we're sad to see it go. It's so cute. Yeah, it's so. it's beautiful in there. So if you haven't yeah. had a chance to take your kids or um, just take your own holiday pictures if you don't have kids yeah. like us, <laughs> it's it's a great photo by yourself ops. with the pumpkin. They won't yeah. kick anybody out. No, it's it's <laughs> as six, long as you like pumpkins. And yes. it's pretty affordable too. It's six dollars for entry, and if you have a membership, it's free. So, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Um, anything else that's going around near downtown, or anything else? Uh, this year, uh, Jeff Provine is actually doing a ghost tours um, oh, cool. every night this week. I think through Friday. So tonight and tomorrow night is the last one. So you'll get to. Um, I think it's for ten dollars. You you donate at at the site, and um, you get a tour of all like the spooky things that have happened in Bricktown and downtown OKC. So oh, wow. um, he has a book and uh, he's doing tours. So I, I can't wait to check that out. Sounds like there's plenty going on in downtown. Absolutely. Yeah, always. Cool. All right, well, yeah. thanks for the update. Riley, Danielle, really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah.